Okay. Okay. All right. Welcome back. We got the second game of this weekend's lineup. And we're in the Americas now. We got Honduras taking on Chile. Both these sides had some tune-up matches. Chile, they played against the United States. Of course, the United States did end up blanking them. Well, it wasn't necessarily a blank, but it was a blowout. And then Honduras, they had a run-in with El Salvador, in which they actually did end up winning that game just barely. I do have high hopes for both these teams. It's going to be interesting to see how they shape each other up now as we got Central America taking on South America in this lineup. And say he's got some space. Wow. And that's a big game to get the game started. Honduras is making their way downfield fairly easily right now. Pachuca. Find Sag again. And pretty much he, he he's on fire right now. Only two passes and he's already cooking up. It's going to be interesting to see how he goes for the rest of the game. Pachuca. Finds Arcanop. It's a gain of four. Honduras. Threatening the Chilean defense. Say again. And he's going to be tackled for a loss by Tavares. Machuca, pressure mounting. Gets rid of the ball just in time, but no receivers nearby. Looks like Honduras is going to have to settle for that chip shot. Lindsay gets it to go, and Honduras will jump out in front. Three to nil. And it's a shallow kick by Lindsay. Casillas is going to be back to return. And he gets to about the 29. So now we get to see the Chilean offense work their magic on the first drive for them. Cuevas is going to go deep. Can he find somebody? He does. He finds Rojas. And with an extra penalty. And Chile is making an impact very early themselves. They're knocking on Honduras' door. Or goal line to be exact. Hands it out to Martinez. Can't sneak it in there just yet, though. It'll be second and goal. Cuevas. Martinez dropped in the backfield by Pierce. And Martinez is going to get hurt on that one. But he should be back. So that's going to be good for Chilean fans. Cuevas. This time to Huey. And he's not going to get anywhere either. Fourth and goal, and both defenses forcing each other to take field goals. Besserill gets the field goal to go, and we got an even ball game. Well, those first drives, I mean, somewhat successful, they went by in a flash. Hopefully that says a lot about this game, and hopefully it says there's more to come from both these sides. As Honduras is going to take this from their 26 now. Pachuca finds right. And Martinez should be back in action for Chile when they go back on offense. Say, this time he's running the ball and he gets the first down. Hopefully I'm pronouncing his name. Pachuca. Ooh, receiver couldn't get back just in time. It's going to go through his hands. Second and ten for Honduras. Now, Chile's first match against the United States, of course, it didn't go necessarily to plan for them. But, of course, it was a learning experience. And I do think that as a team, they figured out what they needed to do in the fourth quarter, in which, you know, they ended up scoring more. And hopefully they can translate what they learned from that game into this game. Although Arcano, he's going to get a very good reception right there. And now Honduras within Chile's red zone yet again. Honduras, they're coming off a win against El Salvador. Of course, that was quite a while back, though. 
So hopefully they, they manage to shake off any ring rust they have. And, you know, they can bring the fight to Chile. Pachuca going to go in the corner. Had two receivers. But I guess they both split before they can actually find the ball. Third and eight. Sake. He's going to try to sneak around, but nothing doing. Allegre. He's going to be there for the stop. And Honduras going to have to take another field goal. Lindsay is just barely going to get that one. I was worried for a second that it was dipping fairly early, but he manages to stretch it out there. So Honduras, with the two field goals, they get back in the lead once again. Casillas, short punt, decent return. Chile going to work from their 30 once again. Again, this Chilean squad, one of the few South American nations currently active in the IAFA, Brereton Diaz, no relation to Benjamin. He gets the first down. It's an entirely different person, entirely different person. Let's get it. Cuevas has Brereton Diaz again on that cross, and he gets a gain of nine on that reception. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Chile, one of the few South American nations currently active in the IAFA. There's still going to be a few more to come. Expect Brazil and Argentina in the next few weeks. And word of Venezuela also being available to be activated soon. For the time being, they're probably one of the top ones. Although Cuevas hit while throwing, not going to find any receiver. And Chile is going to be forced to punt. Escalera. And that's going to look like a touchback. Oh, they go straight to Sag. But he's going to get tackled in the backfield by Duarte. Chuka goes to the corner. Finds right. He's going to catch it out of bounds. He's only going to get a gain of two on that reception. Pachuca again. And I think he was looking for right again. He's not going to be able to track it down. It'll be fourth and eight. And Honduras forced to punt. Garden. Momentum to return, and wow, that DB came in hot. That will be the end of the first, though, as Honduras is in the lead just narrowly, 6-3 to three against Chile. Cuevas to Martinez. Martinez back in action. He got hurt earlier in the first quarter, but he's back, and hopefully he can do some more for this Chilean tie. Martinez again tries to sneak by. He's going to get a few extra yards. It'll be third and two. So Honduran defense has a fair knack for the run game defense. Their passing defense could use some work. Pressure mounting, though. And that blitz almost successful. Manages to scoop the QB just enough for him to throw it away, though. And Escalera is going to have to punt again. Gonzalez. On the return, not going to get anywhere. So Honduras is going to take it from their 22. Machuca. Find Sage. Running back proving to be fairly versatile. I know our first match, England had a running back in Carragher who was, he was also the same way. Telling you, it helps when you have a running back that can double as a wide receiver. It makes life much easier on the QB. And I can say the coaches would probably say the same thing as well. Sag again, ducks a tackle, gets a gain of seven. And he's got a lot of receiving yards. His rushing yards, not as much. And Wright shuts that tackle, actually. He'll get the first down and a little bit more. The 
Chuka starting to cook up a little bit. Chuka, that's going to be intercepted by Tavares. Not a smart throw in hindsight. Cuevas drops back, going to go deep. Finds Casillas, and he's going to be gone. Touchdown for Chile. Bessero for the PAT. He's going to get it to go. And Chile scores the first touchdown in this game. A connection from Cuevas to Casillas. They'll take the lead by four. Bessero. A better kick on that one. Finds Arcano. Arcano only going to get the return to the 15. Not great field position for Honduras. See, dropped in the backfield by Acevedo. See, well, he's going to get the first talent. Oh, actually, no, he's not. I spoke too soon. Third mentions. That's still a fairly good comeback from that one, though. Quick throw. Finds Hickman somehow. And this Honduran side still not out just yet. They're looking for the end zone themselves. Machuca, deep throw. Can't find his man. Targeting right, I believe. And he's not going to be able to track that down. And Chuka, he, he's thrown an interception already. That's not great. But they're not, they're not down and out just about yet. Expect some more from this Honduran side. Say, he's been doing pretty well. More receiving yards than rushing yards, though. If anything, he seems more like an extra wide receiver than a running back. Either way, Honduras is going to be forced to punt here. And Chile is going to retain, regain, ooh, second time I did that, regain possession. Go. Martinez, not going to go anywhere as he's going to get stopped by Gonzalez. Second and ten situation for Chile. Martinez sheds that tackle, uh, sheds another tackle, and he's going to get the first down and a little bit more. Four o'clock and ticking, Super Sim added. Cuevas has some time, hit while throwing, finds Martinez for a third time. He's only going to get three yards on that reception. And Cuevas, he hasn't been throwing as much. He's been letting the running game do much. And the blitz coming in. Rivera, he's going to get credit for the sack. Well, he's got to figure out a way to get rid of the ball quicker. That's all I can say. Cuevas. Ooh, and the receiver can't pick it up on that one. And Chile's going to be forced to punt. Escalera, fairly shallow punt this time. Shouldn't be too much to handle for Gonzalez. Oh, he's actually going to go nowhere. It's still a good field position for Honduras, as they're going to take it from their 35. Say, he's only going to get a yard for that carry. The Chilean defense trying to adapt to that Honduran rushing offense, and it works a little bit there. Sig, another rush. He'll go into the two-minute warning with a gain of four yards. He's had more rushes and less receptions, but he has more receiving yards than rushing yards. Machuca going up the middle. Neither receiver can get to that. And will be fourth and five. Honduras and have to relinquish possession once again. Garden, deep punt. Looks like a touchback, and it is. So Chile, taking it from their 20. Cuevas. Finds Palomo. 
And I believe that's his first reception. It's going to count for a first down. Davis drops back again. Getting pressured, and he overthrows his man just narrowly. Cuevas, pressure mounting, almost intercepted. And it'll be third and ten. Shelly's going to need to figure out a way to get this ball upfield. They've been stuck for the last three plays. Martinez, not going to go anywhere. And Honduras going to take a timeout. Escalera to punt. Gonzalez pretty much zeroed in almost immediately by the Chilean defense. Machuca finds Hickman on the cross, and it's a first down. Clock still ticking. I believe Honduras is going to get the ball to start the second half. Correct me if I'm wrong. Machuca is going to go deep. Oh, it's going to be intercepted by Duarte. And that is not what Honduras needed right there. Now they're back on defense. And Chile could ride the momentum off that interception. Cuevas goes for a short pass, and it's going to be dropped. Of course, his yardage not looking as great, but he's got the touchdown, and that's all that really counts. Rojas is going to get a five-yard reception on that. And clock still ticking. Brereton Diaz sheds one tackle. He's going to get brought down. And this might be the last play of the quarter for Chile. Cuevas finds Martinez, who runs out of bounds with it. He's going to stop the clock at five seconds. Cuevas drops back again. And now he's going to go deep. He actually has Rojas, who's going to take it in. And talk about adding salt to the wound as Chile scores once again before the end of the half. Can Besserol get the PAT? And he will. And an open look as Chile now firmly in front by 11. Not much to say. It's been mostly Chile so far. Honduras had jumped out in front in the first quarter, but the two touchdowns by this Chilean offense have proved to be quite the difference maker. Hopefully Honduras can find their way, uh, can find their way back inside this match. As now it looks like the South American side taking possession once again as they already have control of this match. Casillas, he had the first touchdown. It's going to get to the 31. Cuevas drops back. Has time. Receiver can't find it. Second and 10 for Chile. Again, part of me believes that one tune-up match against the United States was definitely a learning lesson for this Chilean side. Their offense hasn't really... Well, their offense didn't really find their step until the fourth quarter of that one game. And looks like in this game, they've definitely applied what they learned from that and here as they've been on fire. Bereton Diaz, they're actually going to give him the first down. Wow. And it'll be a first and ten for Chile. Martinez sheds one tackle. He's going to eventually get brought down, and now he's got a shoulder injury. He might be gone for the game. Again, you hate to see some of those injuries happen, but, you know, these things happen. Cuevas, quick throw. Receiver can't get it. It'll be third and eight. Well, now their main running back is out. Hopefully that doesn't have to alter Chile's, def uh, Chile's offense too much. Going up the middle finds Al Caron. And he'll eventually get stopped.
Okay, okay, is this on? Okay, 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 I'm back. Oh, sorry about the interruption. I uh, had to attend so Wow, well, okay. I mean, I literally just got back, but okay, Pogue. He's gonna get a touchdown for Honduras. Honduras, wow. Chill, I really jumped out while I was gone, didn't they? Well, I was gonna deal with some neighbors, but I think they already quieted down. Of course, if they do something again, then I might I might have to walk away from the microphone again. But either way, I've returned, and the score is 24-13. to 13. Man, I missed quite a bit, didn't I? Well, for anyone that manages to watch this video, I mean, I hope you enjoyed it. Of course, you got to see some action I didn't. Clavis going deep. And receiver can't get it. It's going to be second 10 for Choi. I'm also going to try to keep myself down a little bit, as it is, uh, well, still afternoon, and you don't want to bother the neighbors. Of course, the neighbors want to bother me, though. But enough about my personal life. That's not what we're here for. Play this. It's going drop back. Ooh, nothing doing. And it looks like we'll be a fourth and out for Chile. Dawes on the return. And he's not going to get anywhere as Honduras is going to be forced to take it from their 24. Pachuca. Oh, comes off his receiver's helmet. Second and 10 for Honduras. Pachuca going to Arcana. Get the reception and a gate of seven. Say, 
it's gonna, he's gonna get the first down. Chuka. Ooh, almost intercepted by Chile there. Chuka trying to find no. I believe that was Sig. Hey, bear with me. I just got back, all right? Chuka, short pass to Sig. And we get the first down. Going to the corner. And receiver can't get that one. Second and ten for Honduras. Yeah, if you can hear that, that's my neighbors upstairs. See, not going to get too far. Only a gain of three this time. Pachuca. Ooh. I think he was looking for right on the cross. Nothing doing. And Honduras is going to be forced to punt. Man, I really missed out. Sucks, man. Honestly, sucks. Either way, Chile going to take it from their 12. They've got the lead fairly commandingly. Huey going to have to take the reception behind the line of scrimmage. But Ingram is going to get them down as they will lose three yards on that play. Cuevas to Huey. And he's only going to get two yards back from that loss, and that'll be the end of the third. If it's any consolation, this Chilean side has actually scored more points in this game than they did against the United States. Huey tackled almost immediately, again, by Ingram. Chile going to be forced to punt out of their own end zone. Gonzalez should be able to at least get past the 50, and he does. Machuca has time. And he was looking for right, I believe, on that one. Nothing doing. Chuka, short pass to save. Ducks that tackle and gets the first down and then some. And this time right is going to be there for the reception. Gain of seven. Chuka, far corner this time. Nothing doing. Say, dropped in the backfield by Allegre. And Honduras should be able to at least get a field goal, and they're going to go for it. Lindsay on the kick, and he's not going to get that one. Looks like he was trying to hook it. He, he didn't get enough hook on it. And, well, Chile's going to take over from their 27. Cuevas goes to the corner, finds Soto, who almost had open space for a second, but the DB manages to get to him just in time. Cuevas to Huey will get the first down. And let me just double check to make sure I'm not muted. And I'm not. Just making sure. Cuevas goes far and overthrows his man, second and ten. So, I mean, not much the Chilean side needs to do. They could hit the scoreboard one more time, put the game away. 
Oop, pressure mounting. Quave is going to have to throw it away. As long as they ensure that Honduras doesn't come back, because theoretically speaking, Honduras is only two scores away. They could come back in this game, but Chile would really have to shoot themselves in the foot. And Rojas manages to snag that one, gets a new set of downs for the Chileans. Play this short pass to Casillas. The back to back first down for Chile. Again, this South American side, probably one of the stronger ones, and hopefully with more coming, they prove themselves to be on top. It'll be interesting to see how they adapt to more offenses as they're going to have to play against some more different competition. And possibly, you know, other, other regions, other nations from other regions as well. Of course, that's an expectation I hold for every single nation that's currently active in the IAFA. And that will soon be active in the IAFA. It makes for interesting entertainment. Well, for me at least. For anyone who's watching this, if you're actually watching this, I mean, I hope you're entertained. Hopefully. I don't know. Who knows, man. That's the rule. Gets the kick to go, and Chile puts themselves even further in the lead. Scores now 27-13. to And I really wish I could have just traveled back in time. Bessero with the kick. And Arcano. He's going to return. It's a fairly fairly mid-return. He's going to get to the 23. Not much to say about that. Honduras with less than 5 to go. He might be playing for Constellation at this point. Arcano. Managed to slip that tackle. Gets the first down. And credit to Machuca. As, of course, his team, not where they really want it to be, but he had a great day. Say, gets the reception, just barely. And a bit of a humbling experience for uh, the Hondurans, as Chile definitely proved to be a different beast than El Salvador. But don't count out El Salvador, because last week they did, they did walk away with a narrow escape against Mexico. Even I still don't understand how they did it. Well, who knows? Mexico's kicking was just off, I guess. Who knows? All I know is it was an entertaining game for me, somewhat. And if anyone was watching, you know, I hopefully you found it entertaining as well. Chuka, pressure mounting, and receiver can't get back in time. Fourth and seven. Excuse me. Chuka drops back. It's pressured, overthrows his man while getting hit. And Chile, going to take over from their 47. They really don't need to do anything at all, really. They've got the lead fairly commandingly, and time's on their side. Huey. Dropped in the backfield by Ocasio. And Huey, the backup running back. And he's trying his best out there, of course, but I do know Chile would rather have Martinez out there. Either way, these things happen. Huey on the rush. Only going to get two yards as Honduras is going to burn a timeout. Play this to Huey. He's not going to go anywhere as Cordova this time. He's going to stop him, the, stop him in the backfield. And Chile forced a punt. So Honduras, with about less than two two minutes to go, uh, they can get one more score on the board, but that should be about it. And once again, apologies ahead of time. I... I intended on being on the mic for the entire game, but these things happen. As it looks like it's thrown away, second and ten for Honduras. And Machuca didn't like what he was seeing. Still, he had a fairly decent day. Completions weren't... Completions don't look as great, but still, over 200 yards in passing. I still think any QB should be proud of that. Two interceptions did definitely hurt them, though. I will say that. 
Chuka. Ooh, receiver can't get that one. That's going to be fourth and ten for Honduras. Chile definitely got this game in the bag now. Chuka going to the corner, and it's going to be overthrown. And Chile is going to take control within Honduras' red zone. Huey. And Honduras is going to burn the last time out. Huey's not going to get far as Rivera brings him down. Third and six. They could waste time. They could go for a run. They could go for a chip. And it looks like they're going to waste time. I think they might be forced to take the field goal either way. Huey dropped in the backfield by Holton. And Chile is going to be forced to take the field goal, so Besserel to add some extra points to the lead. It's been in, it's, it was an interesting game so far. Unfortunately, I couldn't catch all of it. But if you were watching, you got to see all of it. And Chile now firmly in the lead. 13 seconds to go. It's safe to say that this game is all said and done. As Besserell kicks it off, Arcano on the return. And he'll get to about the 20 with 10 seconds left. And, well, not much to say. This game is definitely wrapped up. Honduras, 13. Chile, with 30. As Chuka throws that one away. Stay tuned as we have a African matchup as Ghana takes on Ivory Coast. That should be a special matchup. Neither side really having, well, a history, quote unquote, in American football, really. I mean, at least not that I know of. Okay? Hopefully, the IAFA counterparts show what they can do, as that should be the last play. And again, Chile takes this one, score 30 to 13, and you've got to give it to them. They definitely learned from that game against the United States, and that will be it. The NK Hub signing off. We'll see you in, well, fairly soon.